Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to day 31 of the January challenge, A Fragment of Your Imagination. It's hard for me to believe that it's already the last day of January. I feel like that was such a fun way to get through kind of a typically blah month, at least for me. You know, Christmas is so exciting, the holidays. And then January is just kind of long, so I've really enjoyed doing these fragments. So I wanted to show you before we do the last one, this is what I have done with all of the fragments. I just cut them out of the large um, printouts, the large templates, and I have written their name and who created that, who designed it on the back, and then punched a hole in the corner which some of you I know you don't want to ruin your art by putting a hole in the corner. But for me, I'm going to put this in my little carry case and it's reminders and suggestions of things that I can do on my regular tiles. So I love this. I'm gonna tie some yarn on here, maybe some beads and a charm just to make it kind of cutesy. And that will go in my little tote bag. Okay, so today is day 31, and when we look at our sheet here, it says 31. Together, three are better than one. We have co-designed this final fragment for you, and it's co-designed by these three lovely women who created this challenge for us this month. So the three of them each designed a little corner of the triangle, and that's what we get to do today. So they did not name it, but in the back of mine, I wrote together, because they said together, three are better than one. So I just named it together, and then I wrote their names of the creators, okay? All right, and again, this is such a great reminder that you can design your own. Um, you can play around with these little tiny bits of space and put orbs and lines and shading and zigzags, circles, whatever you want. And uh, it's pretty fun. Okay, so let's do theirs. So theirs is broken up into three sections. Let me zoom in here. So I'm going to put a little dot in the center. And then I'm just going to go from each of the corners to that dot. I'm going to do the same thing down here, put a little dot in what I think is the center and connect it to those corners. It already looks pretty cool. Okay, so one of their sides has this bit of darkening like this, and I'm going to do that one on this bottom area, okay? So it looks like what she did, let me just double check. Okay, I think she aura'd and then came down in the center. And then aura that line and this line. And then just inked in this part. It's almost like a fragment of a fragment. It's a little triangular design inside this triangle that's inside the big triangle. It's kind of cool. Ink that in, and this one. All right, I'm gonna do it over here also, the mirror image. So I'm going to aura this line, and then I'm gonna come down. Well, actually, I'm kinda, kinda going up, I guess, at this point. And then aura this line, and then go up here. 
and ink these in. It is so fun putting fragments together and seeing what they create when they're together. So look at this beautiful diamond shape that is happening. I'm going to ink in that center line because it was really light on my printout. Okay, that looks pretty cool. All right, one of the other sides, I don't think they all had auras. Let me just double check. I'm going to aura each one. So I'm just going to go along there. I think because I've got such big spaces, I like the idea of the auras. And I'm just auraing the two sides. I'm not auraing the one that's on that outer edge. Do the same thing down here. My lines are especially wiggly today. I kind of like it. Okay, so one of these is just smaller triangles. They're not even colored in or anything. And I don't know, she puts one over here and over here and in the center. And I don't know if she meant to just do the three or if she wanted to be more random. You could put some more in. But I'm gonna do that again, but on the opposite side over here. So I'm gonna put in that one from the very center and then two coming out this way. What a simple but very pretty tangle or fragment. And then this last one is an orb or a circle. So I'm going to put the circle right in there and I'm going to do the one down here also. So right in that little tip of that triangle there. And I'm going to ink in that bit of space that's left. And then just aura nice and slow, nice and close on the edges. I'm going to add a little reflection on the circles. And then of course I need to aura the whole thing just to give it a hug and bring it all together. So when I do my auras, I'm going to throw in some fescue. So I'm going to come up the side here. And I'm just going to kind of let that aura go and create a little fescue shape. Then I'm going to do an aura down this way. And I'm going to let it cross over and do another fescue. Come down this side, and I'm going to do a fescue early. These are just to show you different techniques. And then I'm going to continue my aura here and here. And I'm going to let that one be a fescue. And I'm going to add a couple more. This has nothing to do with the fragment, you guys. I just like to play around a little bit. So I'm going to add a few more 
little fescues, maybe one over here. I'm also going to add a couple of circles or orbs because we have those in our pattern. And then I'm going to aura the whole thing once more, which is like an embedded letter. If you haven't done embedded letters, I highly recommend you looking them up. But look at this. I'm going to just aura this whole thing. Around the fescue. Some of mine might go off the edge a little bit and that's okay. And one more fun little thing that Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas do is they take these little um, kind of corner things and they add a little bit of like a curve and some darkening. That just kind of cements those together and adds a little bit of drama. It's kind of cute. All right, let's do some shading. If you wanted to, you could keep going, adding little fescue, adding little orbs, even some of these triangles that we used in the fragment. Um, you know, put a couple triangles out there and aura and just keep going. It's so much fun. You don't have to stop at the fragment. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of shading. And I think for this one, I'm going to shade inside the lighter fragments. So I'm going to go on that inside edge just a tiny bit. And push that towards that center. Same thing over here. And it's a small space and you want to make sure you still leave white in the center so that it looks like a shadow and not like the whole thing is colored in. Look at how pretty that looks. Look at the difference between that and the one down here. It adds so much. Soften that just slightly towards that center. And then I'm going to take my blending tool, my tortillon, and it's already got some graphite on it. And I'm just going to softly go around this outer edge. I'm not adding graphite. It doesn't need to be a deep, dark shadow, although you definitely could. But I just like taking the edge of this and adding that little bit of softening. There we go. Again, I call this one together. I don't know that they have a name for it. But thank you so much to those three artists for giving us this January challenge. What a such a super, super fun event this has been. I'm gonna take this, I already wrote on the back, and I'm gonna hole punch the corner. And I'm gonna add it to my little collection here of 31 fragments. Now, if you have my printouts, there is extra like this that you could cut out. Let me zoom out a little bit. 
that you could cut out and hole punch and just add to the back as blanks. You also could print out the ones that already have the pre-made reticula that have the blank squares, the blank triangles, and you could add a set of those to the back to play in. There's so many fun things. Look at all of these. And then I carry, well, it's kind of a mess right now, but let me zoom out. This is my, it's almost like my purse, you guys. I don't carry a purse, but um, I take this almost everywhere I go. I just throw it in my car and um, I should link this. I'll link this down below. Um, it's just from Amazon. It has this handy little front pouch that when I'm organized, I lay my pens out in here and they tuck in, but I'm not organized right now. So that's a cool feature. But I keep my blank tiles, blank tiles. Um, this is something that I created a long time ago. In fact, I don't even think I wrote the artist names on the back. But this is something that um, I used to sell on my Facebook page. I could do that again. But it's just a, a pile of all these different tangles and their names. And um, I just use it if I'm trying to think of something to draw. I can just go on here. And then my pens. God, it's like a little junk drawer. I always, always have Pez with me because that's my favorite little snack. All right, so this new thing will fit right inside there. And I'll just take it with me for my ideas. I love it. Thank you so much to Seven Forests, Five Rivers for creating this. And um, we'll see you tomorrow for February 1st. Share the love. Um, you can get the printouts on my Facebook page called Let's Tangle. The printouts are also available on one of my YouTube videos that's called Quick Announcements, where I talk about the February challenge. And in the description of that video, you can find the printout. All right. Again, thank you so much and um, have a wonderful February. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.